Welcome to the training module on sanitation systems in production areas. The product used in the first compartment of the sink is ServeClean Dish HD. This is dispensed into the sink through wall-mounted equipment, which dilutes it properly for maximum performance and controlled cost. It will produce rich, stable suds to clean tools, equipment parts, bowls, and trays. The second center compartment of the sink should be filled with clear water. The product used in the third compartment of the sink is Serve Clean Sanitize. This is also dispensed into the sink through the same wall-mounted dispenser. It will deliver sanitizer solution at the proper strength to sanitize all the items that have been cleaned and rinsed. We'll discuss this in more detail later in this presentation. After sanitizing, items can be placed on the tray at the end of the sink to air dry. They should remain wet for 10 minutes. No rinsing is required. This is a typical sink point dispenser. It is usually mounted on a wall over the sink near the center. The dispenser is fitted to connect to local water and automatically dilutes the Serve Clean HD and Serve Clean Sanitize correctly for use. When installed, dilution control tips are inserted to assure consistent product performance. It has two pickup tubes to connect the dish HD and sanitizer to the unit. At the end of each pickup tube is a special cap to provide a safe, secure, and leak-proof connection to the bottles. Each bottle has a special insert containing a straw that pulls the product out. This closed-loop dispensing protects employees from coming in contact with the concentrated products. The dispenser is also fitted with discharge hoses, one for Dish HD and one for Sanitize. All equipment is professionally installed and maintained. In case service is required, each piece of equipment has an 800 number on it. If the unit is not working properly, simply have the manager call the supplier and they will correct the issue. Now, let's get ready to do the sanitation and take a look at the dispensing equipment to see how to operate it. First, the three-compartment sink. Safety first. While these chemicals have been formulated to be as safe to use as possible, all workers should understand the hazards they may pose. Making sure the work area is clean will allow the detergents to do their work most effectively and help avoid contaminating tools, bowls, boards, etc. Laminated wall charts are placed conveniently near the equipment as a reminder of proper procedure. Once the sink is set up, you're ready to begin. Be sure the bottles are connected and the discharge hoses from the dispenser are in the proper wells in the sink. Adjust the water to warm, hot to dispense the dish HD into the sink. Turn the knob marked dish detergent and fill the sink to the desired level. When the sink is full to the desired level, turn off the water. Fill the center well with clear water to the volume preferred for the amount of cleaning required. Adjust the water temperature to cool, or 75 degrees, to fill the sanitizer well. This is important, because when testing the potency of the sanitizer, hot water can give false readings. Two things are critical, that the water temperature be cool, 75 degrees, and no hotter than 90 degrees, and that the sanitizer concentration be at 200 parts per million. If the concentration is too low, the surfaces will not be sanitized. If it is too high, it can cause chemical contamination of the food. Test the sanitizer concentration. Check sanitizer each time the sink is filled. Pull off a length of Quat Check test strip. Dip the test strip in the Quat solution, avoiding any foam. Leave the test strip in the solution for 10 seconds for an accurate reading. The correct reading for proper sanitizing is 200 ppm. Simply match the color of the strip to the color code on the case. Once the concentration has been confirmed, fill the third well to the desired level and turn the water off. As a reminder, wall charts are provided and mounted near each sink. Rough cleaning debris from the utensils saves the detergent solution and makes cleaning easier. Carefully place utensils to be cleaned in the first wash well of the sink and allow them to soak if possible. After letting them soak, clean all utensils thoroughly with a pot brush or scrubber to remove all soils. Rinse carefully to remove all residues of detergent and prepare the utensil for sanitizing. Finally, sanitize the cleaned and rinsed utensils. Allow them to remain submerged for at least 60 seconds, then remove them for air drying. Do not towel dry. 
allow them to air dry only. There are three main wear points on this dispenser, the valve controls, the dilution control tips, and the special caps. Make sure the screws holding the valve controls are not loose. There should be a little resistance when the valve is turned. Our professional tech will be checking the tip status every time he visits your store. Do not force the caps onto the bottles. By following the instructions earlier, the caps should go on easily. Your store maintenance man should have a supply of spare caps. For any other problems, please inform your manager. Our service phone number is on every piece of equipment, and we will immediately respond to your request. Thank you for keeping our stores clean and safer for everyone.